presently at the Tabby Island Marine Science Center here. I don't know what kind of fish that is, unless that's meant to be a flounder, perhaps. Oh, here we go. Here's what they have in it. That helps. So there's that thing. That little guy, or girl. Oh, hello. So a little ray there. Some kind of crab. I've never seen a crab like that before. Yes, I see you. How are you doing? Hmm, <laughs> he's going, who the heck are you? <laughs> and there is a horseshoe crab, which is about as prehistoric looking as you can get. First time I've ever seen a live one. And there's what the underside of this guy looks like. Right there. Again, there's the there's a view of the ray. Hmm. Let's see. Then they got some fish here. There's an example of what they have in here. Oh, they got an eel, I think. And there's a puffer fish. And another fish there. Oops, sorry. And there's uh, what they actually have in here at the moment. And there is a crab. <laughs> there's another view of the eel. First time I've ever seen one of these. And then there's another crab in the corner I just noticed. And there's the puffer fish. As you can see, and there's the, uh, that must be a spot fish then. Got an empty tank there. Oh, these are uh, little smaller turtle breeds right there, or species, not breeds, right there. That's a diamondback terrapin. So these are all diamondback terrapins, I think. Hello, you are absolutely adorable. Yeah, turtle. <laughs> Aw, there's another one. So these are all diamondback terrapins, I think. There's that. So all of these are diamondback terrapins, I would think. I uh, think. Hello. <laughs> that is so adorable. First time I've seen one of these when they're this small, and I know these things can get huge if they're properly cared for, wild or otherwise. There's some more of the fish they have here, as well as a turtle. Yeah, and then there's more of the fish. There's the, some info on the turtles. So there's two, one there, one there. I just noticed the other one. Shows you my attention span, unfortunately. Another puffer fish. And there's the fish they've got in the tank. Oh, so that's how big those get. And those two are 25. Okay. There's another fish. And I think these are the... Oh. Eastern Box Turtle. I love the name, Charlie. Hello. Hmm. He's going, what is that? I'm sure. And there's another one there. I'm trying to not get too close to the glass. So yeah, there's another box turtle. 
I love it. One's named Charlie, this one's named Zelda. So where's the other one? Link? <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Anyways. Oh, hello. We got some uh, alligators. First time I've seen two small alligators. You do not want to encounter these in the swamp. No, sir. Thank goodness these are too small for right now. And there's also some fish here. Another view of the gator. So most of their body is submerged, but the head is above water so they can breathe and keep an eye on everything. Wouldn't want your toes nibbled by these guys. And then there's the fish they have in here with them. And so these right now are 14 months old, and if you notice, they can update this info at any time they need to in terms of age or anything like that, which is good. I like that. And then here, there is some smaller specimens, a crab and some anemones. So there's the crab in the corner right there. And then the anemones right there. Hello. So these are small horseshoe crabs, one there, one there, and the, if there was a bigger one, it'd be inside the conch shell. And then here's, they got examples of what some of this stuff looks like. There's the sea urchins, first time I've seen these in person. Wow. And here's some other stuff here. Mr. Toadfish, Skillet Fish, Moon Snail. So there's one of the fish. I think the others are hiding in the thing. Oh no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's one. But I don't see the snail unless it's moved. Hmm. Oh well. There's a spider crab. <laughs> And then all these snails, these are like the little snails you'll find on the beach. Periwinkle snails. I've seen these things on the beach more times than I can count. And then crab. <laughs> There's a crab there. And then these are various snails, clams, and other stuff. Yeah. I'm gonna pause this right quick. So here's the other tank. I'm saving the main turtle for last. So here, this has some crabs in it as well as some fish. Mumachog, Shep's head minnow. My stepdad would probably know more about these fish than me. <laughs> and then there's some crabs here. Blotch swimming crab, lady crab, iridescent swimming crab. Oh, there's one, there's another, and there's another. Scared me for a minute. <laughs> Excuse me. And there's another one here. Black sea bass, pigfish. That's an interesting name. Warty sea anemone. Those two have like really unfortunate names. Stone crab, rock scabs. So there's one. There's another. There's another. There's an enemy, and there's a crab. That is a massive crab. You would not want to get pinched by that sucker's claw right there. Ouch. And then here's some more right here. So this is all the stuff you'd find probably where the water go, where the shore drops to so maybe seven, eight feet, maybe nine feet or deeper. And there's some of the animals they've got in this one. Spider crabs, striped hermit crabs, more of the same stuff from the other tanks with maybe one or two differences. And then here's another one here. Sea robins, gray sea stars, horseshoe crab, oyster toadfish. <laughs> oh, there's the starfish. I remember my mother 
and all of us were either here at Tybee or at a different place and one of these sea stars actually latched onto her foot. <laughs> it scared her, but it was so funny. And of course, you know, you can't get really get hurt by these things. In fact, they're actually adorable to look at. <laughs> and then there's the uh, horseshoe crab. There's one fish there that's hiding. <clears throat> I think. Oh yeah, it's hiding. Then there's uh, another stonefish there. He's like, no pictures, please. <laughs> there's another set there. And then back to the restart. Anyways. Yeah, so this is a little touch tank. It's mostly filled with hermit crabs and whelks, which are just giant sea snails. That's pretty much all this is. So, yeah, here's a better view underwater. Trying to creep through so I don't mess up anything. See all the different shells and whatnot here. Got conch shells and the circular shells I forget the name of. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. And then there's one of the there's one of the hermit crabs right there just chilling. So yeah. Next up. We, my no. family is from Florida, and I have a great great grandfather who is. We always we were told so this is a loggerhead sea turtle here. here. Jefferson, but I just found out from the lady who was a historian that he was actually a prisoner at, during the Civil War. Wow. He was running cattle to feed the Confederate Army. He's a doctor. Yeah. So that's why they, my family said he was a doctor at Fort Jefferson. He was the doctor at Fort Jefferson. He was just in jail. Yeah. So, and my parents grew up in Fort Myers. Yeah. That's the only other time I've been all around. Yeah. We're in Texas. A Dallas area. Mm hmm. All my life. And I was like, I've got to get to Yeah. Oh, I gotta find, I gotta get to the <laughs> yeah, That's the first time I've seen a loggerhead sea turtle in person. Yeah. Apart from maybe Jekyll, but they got more than one species there. First time I've seen one that's this small. Well, I hope his release goes well. Yes, oh, it will. He's perfectly healthy. That's good. Yes. That's good. Yeah. I, I remember seeing a news thing about regarding Tabby or Myrtle Beach where a seal pup was found out here. Yeah, it's happened a few times um, in the past. It's not common because we typically don't get seals out here. Um, but sometimes the currents will wash them in um, from different outlets and different river inlets um, and other things as well. So um, we do get otters out here a lot. So um, we see them. but. I haven't seen any otters out here yet, but we I think... We have river otters out in our marshes. I haven't seen them yet. Yeah, they're elusive. <laughs> I'll say this, though. Um, I think the seal pup that washed up, I think it was either a gray seal or a harbor seal. I, I don't remember which. I know there was a news report on it. Interesting. I'll have to look that up. Yeah. Yeah, we typically don't see them out here. That's very strange. Yeah. That's a diagram of the different sea turtles they have here. From the smallest to the biggest. That's the largest one here. So they're fabricating that, so that should be done later. Later on. I like light. Hey there. Oh, is that Ike right there? Mm -hmm. Yes. No. Oh. I wondered where they got the name. Oh, um, he was named after Ikea. There's a thing that'll come up on his little TV. They got a lot of furniture from Ikea, so they named him Ike. <laughs> I thought it was because of Dwight D. Eisenhower's nickname. Oh, well. So there is Ike. 
is a loggerhead sea turtle. And the camera's blurred. Great. Oh, here it is if you want to. Ikea. Oh yeah. I see now. <laughs> yeah, there's Ike. If you guys wanted to get a better view of him, now's your chance. There he is, swimming around. This is technically the first sea turtle I've filmed. It's about this size. I hope they have a web, a thing where people can send pictures in. Because if they do, if I can get these two fo photos I just took of him printed and developed, I want to see if I could mail them here for them. Or maybe bring them with me next time I come back. That way they have something of him. So he's a loggerhead sea turtle. Filming it. Oh, look there. That's coming towards shore. Yeah. 
That's gonna make some noise smacking into shore. <laughs> 